Hi, my name is Armin Kurshain. I'm from Marlboro, Mass. I'm a founder of the Crossroad Anglers, a, a, a life member of Roadie Fly Rodders, United Fly Tires. And today we're going to tie a freshwater bass fly that's very easy to tie and very effective. This is an eagle claw hook available from any uh, sports shop or Dick Sporting Goods or uh, Bear's Den. It's a size one hook. It's a bait holding hook. And um, what, this is what I use. Okay. And what I do is I take the my, uh, this is Kevlar thread. What I do is I crisscross this way and wind the thread over itself and cut the tag end. The reason why I have to cut the tag end, this thread is very strong and you, it's tough to cut. So what I do is I take a step further and I put cement. And what I use for cement is Sally Hansen hard as nails. I coat the shank of the hook. I wind to the bend of the hook. And I, when I let the thread hang, when it touches the point of the hook, I don't go back any further. I stop there. This is because when the fish hits this, if you go back any further, there's a possibility you can cut the thread and the fly will fall apart. This is marable. What I'll do is I'll take a bunch from the tail. Cut it. Tie it in. Now this is called chenille. What I do is I wind halfway. Stop. What I'll do is I'll take one side of the marabou, just peel it right off, cut it, tie it in, wind the thread all the way forward. <laughs> What I do is I take the chenille. You would stay, you would still stay more in one place. In the north end of the So what I do is I cross over. I don't know if I'm warmed up enough. Let's see how it goes. It's a double bead one too. Then I just cut it off. On the other side, the pot that I took off, I'm gonna just peel it off. It's a little bit more. I think all the way down the So you use it's like your leaves like kind of thing. It's kind of kind of thin, so I'm going to put another piece on. I'm putting half hitches on. Um, I don't, I've never learned how to use a whip finish. So I, my life is uncomplicated. So what I'll do is I'll take the thread, twist it, put it over itself, and pull. This fly is very light. You can use it on a seven weight rod. Uh, it'd be good for smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, even trout, even large trout will hit this thing. There's a lot of motion to it, very light. I'm gonna put some head cement. A lot of us have gone there for years. It's kind of a cool place to be. Nobody you kind of know what you're doing. The cement I'm using is Sally Hansen Hot as Nails. That's it. Now there's one word uh, of warning. If you don't add water, you're not catching fish. You need water.